Hi everyone, welcome to my African drumming session. African drumming is interconnected with storytelling and today I'm going to tell you a fairy tale using African rhythms. A long, long time ago, there was a village called Kondele and in the village there lived a hunter who lived in harmony with his wife and kids. One day, the hunter left early in the morning, prepared his bow and arrow and left for normal hunting. He came across a crocodile and he thought, I'm going to set a trap, catch this crocodile and carry it back home with me. Immediately, the crocodile saw him and started singing. Please, 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 if you spare my life today, I will spare your life tomorrow. The man felt sympathy for the crocodile and continued with his journey. He came across an elephant, a huge elephant, and thought, I'm going to set a trap, catch this elephant, and take it home with me for my family. Immediately, the elephant saw the man. It started singing, please, 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 spare my life today, and I will spare yours tomorrow. Again, the man felt sympathy for elephant, spared his life, and continued with his journey. <laughs> The sun was scorching, it was getting very hot, the hunter was getting very tired, and he started thinking, I lost my opportunity, I had two opportunities, and I've just lost them like that. He thought to himself, if I get another last opportunity, I'll have to make use of it, and I won't feel sympathy for this animal. Fortunately, he saw a big, huge eagle on the tree, and he thought, this is going to be enough food for my family. I'm going to set a trap, catch this eagle, and take it home with me. Before he could do it, the eagle started singing, Please, 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 if you spare my life today, I will spare your life tomorrow. The man wasn't sure whether to spare the eagle or to catch it because he thought, If I don't take this eagle now, I'll lose all my opportunities. Again, he felt sympathy for the eagle and spared the eagle's life. It was already evening and he had failed to catch any animal. He walked back to his home very disappointed, empty-handed, and his family was very disappointed with him. The next day there was a heavy rain. The whole village flooded and people started drowning. The hunter was worried about his life and his family and he thought, I'm going to die with my family. Suddenly the eagle appeared and said, you spared my life and today I'm going to help you and your family. The eagle took the man with his family, flew so high with them and dropped them safely on a dry ground. Immediately the elephant appeared and said to the hunter, you spared my life and today I'm going to save your life and your family. The elephant created a barrier that blocked the flood and changed the course of the flood going straight to the river. The whole land dried and everything went back to normal. The hunter was very, very happy and was grateful. But now he thought, I'm going to die because of hunger. I'm going to die with my family. Immediately, the crocodile appeared with fish and said, you spared my life. Today, I'm going to save your life and your family. The crocodile brought lots of fish and said, I'm going to provide fish for you and your family every day from the river. Since then, the man lived happily and in harmony with his neighbors and with all the animals. Moral of the story, if you do good today to people, tomorrow they'll do good to you. Thank you very much and see you next time.